JJ, you really broke this game wide open there in the fourth quarter. Can you tell me about those two long touchdown runs that you had? Uh, man, I, I was poised all game with uh, little, little carries in the beginning, and I, I, was, I was waiting for it. I knew this was the one. I mean, that, that 21 really works. You know, when I hit that hole, I saw glory. You know, what do you think was the difference in the fourth quarter? Because for the first three quarters, really, the offense didn't do a whole lot tonight. Yeah, I mean, I mean, coming out from that half, it's been, it's been the best come out from half that we ever been. Obviously, we turned over a few and we got to a slow start, but it all came together. We all felt together and it's really, really coming together. We're going to handle this. How about the job the defense did? They did not score a point after that opening drive. Yeah, I, we, we've come a long way, but I, I love my defense, thick and thin. I mean, people out, people that can't play because of BC, BC and then just all around in general, we all come together. Uh, Coazzo had a real good game up front. Gibbons had an interception. Huddleston recovered a fumble. How about the job some of those big fellas did for you? I, I've, I've been waiting for that. We called Ty. We called Ty today, and we were talking about the pick. We all talked about them to the pick, about their screens, and it, th those guys. I love them to death. I love them to death for that. You think that interception might have been, you know, the biggest play of the game? Definitely the game breaker. Mm -hmm. Definitely the going breaker. That was a different type of energy. And your runs too were pretty important. Yeah, yeah I mean, I can't do it without that. So. <laughs> Here. Now there was a flag thrown on one of those. How nervous were you that that oh, was going to get called back? I, I just took my breath and hoped for the best, honestly. I started praying. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, we came out on top, so. You know, you have yourself and Christian Caccioni at halfback. You have big Luke Hughes at, at yeah. fullback. Yeah. Uh, your quarterback, Mitchell, was running well on, yeah. on a, a few series in the third quarter. Uh, how explosive is this offense? I, I mean, I, I talked about this all year, since the beginning of the year, since last year. I, we waited for this for a very long time. We're just now getting the place to show it. So, How nice was it to be able to have this game at home with your student section here? I mean, just like how Christian said, we had a big turnout over here, and I, I really loved all of it. All the energy was here more than ever. Uh, you have a, a visit to Ohio State coming up. Yeah. Uh, how excited are you about that? I, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm ecstatic. That's top five school right there. Now, <laughs> this is Penn State country. You know yeah. that now, right? Yeah, yeah I, I do know that. Penn State, <laughs> Penn State's coming next week. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thank congratulations. You. Any fishing in the plans this weekend? <laughs> Maybe piece of something together. Maybe some ice fishing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll stay tuned. Now you're going to get Bishop McDevitt next yes. week. Yes. Uh, how much are you looking forward to that test? That's going to be a real challenge. I mean, we did this all in the, in the preseason and getting those teams out the way that were a little bigger than us. So I'm I'm always ready for some competition. It goes both ways with us. And you played Governor Mifflin. You you played Exeter. You played Malvern Prep. You played Central Dolphin. How much do you think that benefits you now here in the in the postseason? Very, very, very much. We're a lot stronger guys, and we know what's coming ahead of us now. We really do. Well, congratulations, Thank JJ. You. Exciting game. Go enjoy it. Thank you.